Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Winston. I'm an assistant professor uh, at Ohio State University here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, this is an introductory video into uh, the um, Earth Day event that's being held uh, collaboratively between uh, the China Chinese and U.S. delegation uh, from Wuhan University and here at Ohio State University. The theme of Earth Day here in the United States is to restore our Earth. Uh, and so this uh, compilation of videos is really going to touch on different ways that homeowners can help to do their part to restore the Earth. 中文名字是师生福日色基础设施是用来保护、恢复或模拟自然循环的大型人工设施's strongest natural assets include rivers, ravines, and natural green areas. Mother Nature keeps Columbus green with lots of rain. In fact, it rains in Columbus on average of 140 days per year. While all of that rain is good for trees and flowers and gardens, it can cause problems as well. In dry weather, wastewater from our homes and businesses is carried through pipes that lead to the city sanitary sewer, where the water is cleaned before it is safely released back into the river. When it rains, water gets into damaged pipes through cracks, leaky joints, and runoff from roofs. Most of the rainwater is getting into the system from residential areas. The sanitary sewers are not built to carry lots of rainwater. So sometimes, during large rain events, the sewers get too full, overflowing to rivers. The sewers can also back up into basements. One solution is to just build bigger sanitary sewers, which treats the symptom of too much water in the pipe. Blueprint Columbus is Mayor Andrew Ginther's new approach to this age-old problem. Instead of just building a bigger sewer, Blueprint Columbus will keep the rainwater from entering the sanitary sewer in the first place. We can keep water out by lining old pipes to seal all the cracks and joints. This would include the pipe that goes from your house to the city sanitary sewer, called the lateral. We can also direct runoff from your roof away from the foundation of your home and away from sewers. We can improve rivers and streams with rain gardens and trees. We can also improve our neighborhoods with pervious sidewalks to soak up the rain. Mayor Andrew Ginther believes Blueprint Columbus is a better solution. It will improve homes by fixing old leaky pipes and adding natural gardens to neighborhoods. Blueprint Columbus. Clean streams, strong neighborhoods. Placeyugan 也有一些类型的绿色基础设施,运输对雨水进行有利的再利用,比如雨水桶. So this is a, a, a rain barrel at my house. Um, a rain barrel is a simple version of a rainwater harvesting system, and it allows you to take roof runoff uh, from the gutters, pass it down into the barrel, either through a downspout, or what you see here is a rain chain. It allows the water to, to move through. And then the barrel stores the water for later use. So after the rain event is over, 
you can attach a, a hose to the spigot here and potentially a small pump to provide you pressure and uh, use the water for a number of end, end uses, particularly outdoors, landscape irrigation, um, irrigating flowers or vegetables um, is often a use that, that folks will, um, will use this water for. Uh, you can also use it indoors, potentially, uh, if you have a big enough tank. Uh, but this one is quite small, a couple hundred liters. Um, simple plastic barrel that can be um, obtained for a relatively cheap price. Uh, this is a, a very easy way for homeowners to help to restore the earth and to um, really get behind all of the goals of Earth Day here in the United States. Um, very uh, easy retrofit, about an hour of work to get this installed on a downspout, and it can provide a reliable water source during the hot summer months when uh, our landscapes need irrigation. One of the challenges with any kind of green technology, whether it's natural or whether it just was man-made, is the constant need for maintaining this property to remove the invasives to give the natural plants an opportunity to thrive. Talking about sustainability, uh, and I like to point this out to many people, that at least in the English language, the word sustain and the word maintain are synonyms. They mean the same thing. So if you are planting or using uh, green infrastructure for rain gardens or green roofs or even an area like this, which is green infrastructure, and may not be, man may not have planted at all, but it is green infrastructure, it needs to be maintained. 我和蓝土哥伦布的公共关系专家 Leslie 惊喜了联系，看看居民的哪些观察将有助于城市管理与水花园。the first thing and the most important indicator that says that a rain garden is not working the way that it is intended is if the rain garden starts holding water. So rain gardens um, usually have a specified drainage time. Here in Columbus, we engineer our rain gardens to drain um, in a maximum of 48 hours. And so when you have those really large rain events, it's not surprising to see a rain garden full of standing water, but that water really shouldn't be there for more than a couple days. The second thing that you can look for uh, in a rain garden to see if it's healthy and functioning is the plants. Um, so the plants accomplish a couple different uh, goals for the rain garden. One of them is to stabilize the soil. Um, and so that makes sure that the drainage uh, is happening and um, we're not creating erosion situations and kind of um, you know, erecting pollutants to a certain space. And then finally, you know, another thing to look for in rain gardens is obviously there's always going to be some kind of like natural erosion and channeling within a rain garden. Um, however, if we are identifying where water is not reaching the other part of the rain garden, um, then that is also a sign for us that there need to be some adjustments. Wow, 我对海面城市和绿色基础设施非常感兴趣。如果我注意到绿色基础设施需要管理，我应该怎么做？ What we ask our residents to do in neighborhoods where we have green infrastructure is if you notice a problem with the rain garden or if you have any concerns, to simply call the city. You have a team that can respond to that. Every semester we try to have volunteer efforts with organizations who are seeking volunteer opportunities. 我是通过一次雨水花园清理志愿者的机会认识Kent的。也有通过旅游协会提供的志愿者机会。Watershed Association is a group of people dedicated to ensuring the health and safety of the uh, river and the watershed for future generations. Liu Yu, this word is a little bit different. I'll explain it. During the rain season, the water can be used to create a natural flow or to create a natural flow. This is a natural flow. 
代表了来自流域的污染。一旦污染进入下水道，它将直接进入自然水体。In Ohio, Central Ohio, our number one pollutant is、uh, soil. Some of that's from stormwater.、Uh, people、uh, not following the rules about best management practices、um, and things like that. 让我们讨论一些减少雨水问题的最佳管理方法。除了报告绿色基础设施的管理需求和志愿者活动。Time you're thinking, is this okay?、Uh, you know, to have in the street. Think about, would you want to be swimming next to it? 我知道现在是春季，但是秋季的管理也重要。When it comes to leaf management in the fall, you'll find different areas have different ways of handling it. On the street behind us here, the township actually will come and pick them up and dispose of them for you. On our street, though, we have to come up with different ways of managing them.